What's up? Do you know how to care for your skin during the cold winter months? CC Cheney here, and today I'm sharing three essential skincare tips for winter that everyone should know. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I um, have told you more than one time that my skin requires some attention, okay? And during the winter months, it's like when it's most important. Now, we don't get winter down here in Colombia, but it is rainy and cold, and I am noticing a difference So, in my skin. So I've started implementing some things, and I did some research for you so that you could know the, some, the winter skincare essentials that can help you, okay? So let's dig on in. Thanks for hopping on, so appreciate you. This first one is gonna seem a, a little counterintuitive, but bear with me here. Okay, so lower the thermostat to avoid dryness. This is so important, okay? If you've got skin that dries out during the winter, this is the, the primary issue that most people have. Here's what happens. It starts to get chilly outside. What's the first thing that you do? Crank up the heat, right? Like I'm totally there with you. Like let's turn the heat on, let's have the heat on in the car, let's have the heat on in the house. But central heat can actually make the air in your house and in your car even drier, right? Which will dry out your skin and cause you to have dryness, itchiness, pain, blisters, all kinds of issues. So the recommended temperature that I got, uh, that I found for you is a cooler setting, which is between 68 degrees and 72 degrees. This will help you maintain a healthy skin and also help you um, keep your, your thermostat at a decent temperature. Now this rule also applies to hot showers. I know, I love a good shower. I love a nice hot shower, but that heat will strip your skin of the natural oils in it. So you're gonna wanna do warm and not piping hot, right? And if it's gonna be hot water and you just can't help it, don't stay in there as long as you normally would. Get up out of there so that your skin is taken care of, okay? And make sure after you have out the shower that you are giving your, your body some really good um, nourishing um, moisturizer, okay? So I have swapped out my lotion for body oil this time of year. So if that's not something that, a matter of fact, it's right here on the table still. I have very little left in my in my body oil because it's it's what I need during cooler temperatures. So make sure that you're getting the moisture that you need. Tip number two, modify your skincare, your facial skill skincare re regimen for the season. So during the winter months, the article was recommending that you choose cream-based cleansers and uh, and um, only apply toners and astringents sparingly, if at all, right? Because astringents tend to have alcohol in them, which, guess what, also dries out your skin. So when your skin is dry, when your skin is itchy, if you're starting to get signs that something is not right, you wanna stop using products that contain alcohol, that contain artificial fragrances. If the, the product says fragrances on it, um, that's, a, that's a slew of chemicals. We don't know which chemicals those are, and those things can strip your skin, right? So you wanna make sure that your skin um, retains its natural oils, so you wanna avoid those things. All of the products that I use are scented with essential oils because I don't have to worry about all of the, the toxic smudge that comes with um, freak, fake fragrance, fragrances, right? So be very, very careful with that and make sure that you are using a richer moisturizer on your face because it needs that. Now, the other thing that I thought was really important about this is do not forget to apply a moisturizing balm on those lips. If you've got dry, cracked lips, you wanna make sure that you're using a really good moisturizing balm so that th that is taken care of as well. I've got mine hanging in my purse. I've got one hanging in my office. Like I've got like four or five, <laughs> all in different, um, in fragrances. So that's slightly different, but I have them in different places so that I'm always taken care of because that is uh, something that a lot of people struggle with this time of year and I'm certainly one of them. And finally, tip number three, so, so, so important moisturize frequently, more than usual, right? Especially your hands, right? So I am using um, a really thick, silky cream on my hands this time of year, which is making a huge difference for me. I love it, like they're not ashy, right? <laughs> but here's the thing about this time of the year. 
colds and flus are all over the place, right? There's, there's icky, gucky stuff happening like crazy, and you want to make sure that you're constantly washing your hands. And if you are constantly washing your hands, then guess what? You need to also be moisturizing them, okay? Because all of that um, wear and tear from all of the washing does strip your hands of moisture. So you want to make sure that you are actually moisturizing those hands, okay? So if you are someone who really dries out as the colds or temperatures roll in, hello, this girl, then definitely lower the temperatures on your thermostat and shower, Switch up your skincare routine, right, especially your facial routine, and avoid ingredients that dry out your skin. And then, of course, moisturize, 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 okay? And look, having absolutely nothing to do with that, I know how much everybody loves a good sale, and we have some really big Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales coming up in my business. And if you've ever been curious, and I know some of you are, about what it is that I do, or the products that I promote, then make sure to hit the message button and send me a message that says, add me to the list. And I will add you to my VIP list so that you can get all of the deets when the sales are released. So that's what I've got for you today. Have a wonderful week weekend and I will chat with you soon. Ciao.